Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now, right now, we are all enjoying watching the Olympic Games on TV. We watch all these different countries compete against each other in many events. Well, every four years, we pick a new city, right? We call that the host city. And this year, it was in Rio in Brazil. So we're going to talk about what the host city needs to prepare and what sort of things they are responsible to do. So the Rio's Olympic Games kick off 2016. For the past three months, the Olympic torch has been making its way by horseback, surfboard, boat, and plane to reach the cauldron. The cauldron is sort of like a cooking pot in Rio de Janeiro. Inside Maracana Stadium, Rio assembled or they built Brazil's best and created an opening ceremony that mesmerized the world. Mesmerized means when you watch something, you are mesmerized like, wow, I'm, I feel fantastic. This is so amazing when you're mesmerized. As a developing nation, meaning it's still trying to grow its uh, economy and it's still trying to grow its country. However, Brazil faced tremendous pressure to make a good impression. They were facing tremendous pressure means a lot of people were expecting them or waiting for them to make a good impression or to give a good show. Developed nations, already very strong countries like the United Kingdom, can afford to host the game. They can afford it. They have the money to host it. In 2012, London spent $36 million or about $40 billion, that's 40 with nine zeros on just the opening ceremony alone. Rio, on the other hand, however, requested or asked for an extra 900 million or 1 trillion, that's 12 zeros, to help cover costs. So, why did the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, allow Rio to host the game? Why did they give them permission? The IOC wanted to give underdog nations a chance to grow and expand their global presence. So underdog means not very strong country, but sort of a weaker country. If we say there are two teams, one's a championship team and one's a underdog, meaning you know they are less skilled than the other people, they have less money than the other countries. So to grow and expand their global presence or their image. But the past several years have slammed Brazil's economy. It's a lot of problems with their money right now. And now the IOC feels that Rio may be the least prepared or least ready host city in Olympic history. So they're kind of regretting it. With the games already in full swing, right? It's already started. Some doubt if the IOC made the right choice. There are many people are saying this committee, they made the wrong choice. But no matter how people see it, the Rio Olympics has brought Brazil to the world stage where everyone can see their country and their city. Leonardo Quitano, Rio's director of ceremonies stated, this is a celebration of Brazil's ingenuity, their intelligence, their cleverness, the Brazilian human way. All right. We have three review questions here. A, how was the Olympic torch been making its way for the past three months? So again, this is tradition. They have the Olympic torch and they have to you know, keep it lit and carry it to the new host city. So how do they go there, right? It has been making its way by blank, surfboard, boat, and plane. So one thing here, uh, these are all modes of transportation, how we move from different places. This one is special because it's on an animal and one of the few animals that we can ride, it is the horse. So we say on horseback when someone's riding a horse and they're carrying the torch. All right, B, why did the IOC, uh, the International Olympic Committee, allow Rio to host the games? The IOC wanted to give blank nations a chance to increase their global presence, their global image. 
So again, we have very strong countries like America and Canada and Russia and like that. But we have a little weaker countries that don't have a lot of people and don't have a lot of money and don't really have a lot of infrastructure, meaning buildings and stadiums. So we call those underdogs. So if we have two teams, uh, one person has Park Ji Sung on it and one person has a you know, kindergarten student, then that kindergarten student is the underdog because he's weaker and he's you know, smaller, right? C. What did Leonardo Quitano state? He said this is a celebration of Brazilian blank and the Brazilian way. So what he wants to say is that Brazil, they don't have a lot of money, but still even with a little bit of money, they can do very great things because they're smart, they're very clever, and they can you know, use their brains and they're intelligent. So we say ingenuity. If someone has ingenuity, they can you know, make very fantastic things and they can solve many problems and they, we just say they're smart or they're very clever, like a fox. Okay, we have three review terms we're going to go over here. A, Rio assembled or built Brazil's best and created an opening ceremony that blank the world. So the opening ceremony, it was very awesome. It was a lot of lights and music and it was very loud and vibrant. And what they wanted to say is that when people watch it, they will, you know, sort of be sucked into the ceremony. They will watch it and be, be, be very amazed and be very sort of, you know, they would feel it's a fantastic show. And we say that is mesmerized. So when we feel mesmerized, we are in awe or we say something is very awesome like wow, look at the stars, the stars are mesmerizing or fireworks are mesmerizing, right? B, Brazil faced tremendous pressure. Pressure means a lot of countries are trying to push them to make a good show, uh, to make a good show, right? So they were trying to, you know, saying, hey, you better do this. If you don't do it, then you're in big trouble, right? So what they wanted to, they wanted to give a good feeling, they wanted to give a good image to the people watching. So they wanted to give a good impression. So if I have, let's say, a clay and if I put my hand on it and if I let it go, we see my hand impression, right? I changed this clay. So the same thing, the clay is us and the Brazil, the Rio Olympics is the hand and when we watch the Rio Olympics, we will be changed we will be, you know, uh, have an opinion about it. C, the IOC feels that Rio may be the least blank host city in Olympic history. So what they're saying is the least means not the most, the opposite of least would be the most, right? But not the most, we're talking about the least ready country or the least ready city. And another way we can say ready is prepared, the least prepared. If you are very prepared, then you have everything you need, right? But if you are not prepared, then you need a pencil. Okay, can I borrow an eraser? That is a ill-prepared student. So to review, mesmerize is when you watch something, you say, wow, this is amazing. And you, oh, you just want to keep watching it. Impression is a feeling that you get or a change that you get from something. So if you watch a movie, it gives you a good impression, then you feel good, you feel happy. If it gives you a bad impression, then you feel unhappy, you don't feel nice. Prepare is another way to say to get ready. So when you prepare for a test, you get a good night's sleep, you study, you bring all your pencils. If you are not prepared, then you don't study and you forget to bring a pencil, you don't have a notebook, you forget the time, everything. All right, so I want everyone to enjoy the Olympics first of all, but next time I'm hope, hopefully the IOC will pick a better host city and think about what they do before they decide. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.